What is up everybody? Levi here and today I have another unpackaging to do, or an unboxing rather. And uh, today I'm here by myself, so I'm going to be doing it by myself. And uh, I already scored the package for that reason, because I didn't want to hold the camera with one hand and do all this other stuff with the other. So, let's go and take a look at what we got. Now first off, take a look here. We got a Bravo Company or BCM Key Mod Aluminum Rail. And actually, we got two of those. You will see why in a moment. Uh, well, it goes first off, it goes without saying that this is going to go with my AR, Cecilia. She is my only AR and the only weapon I have that has the key mod rail on it. So, there's those. And then, to go on that rail, we got a <coughs> UTG shooters bipod this is a pretty as far as bipods go this is pretty lightweight and that's why i got it because well and cheap but cecilia is a really heavy ar not not like really heavy but compared to many ars she's on the heavy side <clears throat> so there we go owner's manual you can see here that it'll connect on the rail that I just got. However, it does have an adapter for a sling swivel stud. So I could put this on my hunting rifle if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna. It's going on Cecilia. So I'm gonna see about putting this on her and I will show you what she looks like with it on. But I'm gonna pause the video to do that. So I'll be back in a few moments alrighty folks well got the bipod on her and I I think it looks pretty awesome so I'll go ahead and show you guys there she is she's a uh, well I guess definitely not showing you on the right side because you know she's casting a shadow but I'll walk over to the other side and I'll get you another look at it but you can see the bipod there in the front and on the rail that I've just put on that I got from BCM in fact I got both of the rails and the bipod off of Amazon that's my first first time ever buying anything off of Amazon so not complaining there overall a good transaction so I'll go ahead and go on to the other side and then I have a couple other things to talk about on Cecilia okay there you have it so she's looking pretty hot if I do say so myself so some things I wanted to talk about. First off, you may notice that she doesn't have iron sights on. The uh, iron sights that I had on her before were cheap and they're metal and they're heavy so I took them off. Eventually, uh, the AR that I bought my mom, she wants to get a, an optic on it and she'll take off her iron sights which are Magpul, uh, you know, polymer backup uh, sights, so M MBUs or whatever. And uh, I'll put those on her. Then. Uh, another thing is you might see there for the bolt release I got a new phase 5 extended bolt release which works the same way as a bad lever I'll get a close-up look at that in a moment and then I have a Palmetto State Armory ambidextrous charging handle that I just put on her as well and uh, you can see the fab defense stock in the back there which you saw in unpackaging of recently so go ahead and go in and take a look at that phase 5 extended bolt release so with the bad lever made by Magpul you actually just screw it on over your original mag release or a uh, bolt release well this one is an actual bolt release so you have to take out your old one and put this one in and it's a solid piece of aluminum and it is skeletonized so here at the back or on the other end you've got the lever that you can push to either hold open the bolt or release it so right now the bolt is open if I were to push this down and there's no magazine in here so no bullet will be put in the battery if I just push this down bam ready to go so I'm very happy with that works great good investment that was fifty dollars so not the cheapest it's more expensive than a bad lever is but I think it's a better option overall and then here is that 
Palmetto State Armory ambidextrous charging handle. You can charge it from either side or use both of your fingers. And I think that was a good investment too. I've been wanting one for a while, so glad to be able to put that on there. And then another cool thing, I have a customized uh, dust cover coming in the mail. Some people think that's gay. I think it's pretty cool, so can't wait to get that. I'll, of course, have an unboxing when I do get that in the mail. So, <clears throat> suppose I might as well talk about the stock or the uh, bipod a little bit. So, not much to it. It is lightweight, made out of aluminum. I believe the, it has steel feet at the bottom here, and they work pretty well. Not bad. There's a uh, $25 I believe for this and then to lock back you just have this lever here you can push down and it'll fold up forward like so and if you want to extend the legs you just twist this down here and it is under spring pressure so it'll just pop out hard to do with one hand so I'm not going to do it but you all get the picture so that's just about it this is Cecilia the CMMG kind of an overview and, uh, oh, that other bipod, or that other rail that I got will go probably right here. And I'll put a flashlight there, because you should always have a flashlight on your AR. If you're going to use it for CQB, which I guess I'm considering this my 0 to 300 yard rifle. I only have a red dot on it, so those 300 yard shots might be a little difficult, but whatever. Some of you may be questioning my choice to put a bipod on a zero to 300 yard rifle, but really above all else, it's a, a coyote hunting gun, I guess. I've never done coyote hunting, but I plan to do it with Cecilia. And that's just gonna help me a lot. So anyways, I'd like to thank you all for watching and I'll go ahead and see you all later.